Welcome. This meditation is called RAIN, R-A-I-N, which stands for Recognize, Allow, or Accept, Investigate, Nourish. You can use it with any experience, and it's especially helpful with difficult emotions and thoughts. Let's sit comfortably and begin bringing your awareness to your present time experience. Give yourself a minute or two after closing the eyes or finding a focus point to notice what you hear what you feel in the body and what is occurring in the mind. Bringing up a difficult experience or emotion, let's start with recognition. Recognize the thoughts coming up, the sensations in the body, and any critical inner voices you often hear. Let's spend a few minutes just acknowledging and recognizing the presence of the difficulty, tuning into the different ways it manifests in your experience. You may have a busy mind distracting from the practice. We'll just recognize and come back to the breath as an anchor. You may recognize certain sensations in the body, such as tension in the shoulders or a tight jaw. And you may recognize a critical inner voice, which is often a backdrop to what you're thinking. Let's move to the next phase, allowance or acceptance. With unpleasant emotions, the habit of the mind is to try to get rid of these experiences. Let's instead allow it to be present in you. You may try offering this simple phrase of equanimity and acceptance. Right now, it's like this. Right now, it's like this. And now, it's like this. And just allowing whatever it is that you feel, you may be feeling frustration or anger or sadness, grief, or there may be positive emotions such as gratitude, joy. Compassion. But usually with difficult emotions, our default is those negative emotions such as frustration, grief, sadness, shame. Just accept and continue to work with acceptance for some minutes, bringing the mind back when it starts pushing the difficulty away. 
right now it's like this hmm. acceptance might include saying, well, I guess this is the plan. This is where I'm meant to be. Right now, I'm meant to be in this moment. And a critical voice which says, why? Let's just get out of here. and return to acceptance and the breath is an anchor and the thinking mind might come up again over and over that critical voice might be blaming or sending words of shame or regret why didn't you do this before why did you forget that you could have should have done something differently come back to the secure thought right now it's like this I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. My destiny sent me here. And breathe in. And when you breathe out right now, it's like this. Bringing the mind back when it starts pushing the difficulty away. This is a very difficult experience. I am struggling. But I'm going to stay with this right now. This is where I'm meant to be. This is not an accident. This is not random. Right now, it's like this. And noticing the emotions that you're feeling as you stay with this difficulty of this experience. Notice if the emotions and the sensations are shifting or if they're the same as they were when we started the practice. The sensations might be moving around to different parts of the body, from the back to the neck, to the gut. Right now, it's like this. I am here in this moment where I'm meant to be like this. Viewing the emotion of sadness, frustration, shame, grief, whatever emotion you're feeling in this moment. And breathing in and breathing out and staying with this emotion in this moment and staying with these sensations and noticing if the sensations are shifting or if they're still the same. And 
let's continue to investigate. We'll go to the I part of RAIN. You recognized what you were feeling in the first step of RAIN. In investigation, let's allow curiosity to take over. Ask yourself where you feel vulnerable. Let me see. Where do I feel vulnerable? Is there a vulnerable part that is rising up and activated in this experience? Ah, I'm noticing a sensation. And with that sensation is that vulnerable part. And what is that vulnerable part doing? Maybe that part is just like in child's pose, completely submissive. Or maybe that part is hiding in a corner somewhere, in a closet or in a bush. Or wherever your vulnerable part hides. Perhaps that vulnerable part usually hides behind a distractor, which keeps you busy and distracts from those feelings of vulnerability. But in this moment, we're curious. Let's ask that vulnerable part, what is your job? What do you do for me? And how old are you? Where did you start to activate? Usually vulnerable parts are pretty young. Not they may be 10 or 11 or 12 years old or vulnerable parts may activate during a time of trauma or grief. And how does this emotion that your vulnerable part is feeling serve you and protect you? Let's just stay with that and investigate and be curious about this. And just curiosity and noticing when that critic comes up. And when that distractor comes up and say to them, I'm talking to the vulnerable part. Can you please step aside and let me talk to her or him or them? Anything that you can notice about that vulnerable part is, do they have a color or a shape, a size? Do they have a certain sound that they make? And how does the emotion that this vulnerable part feels and the emotion that's reacting in this moment to this difficult experience. How does this emotion serve you? Maybe your system just really needs to process in this moment and is no longer willing to run and hide. And just breathe and ask that emotion or that part that's linked to that emotion, how that might serve you. And how that vulnerable part might be free from this pain. Do you believe 
you can be free from this pain. And your wise self may say, no, I can't. We need to stay with this. Or the wise self may say, hmm, maybe I'll be free from this at some time and maybe I won't. Maybe I'm just meant to be here for now in this moment. And notice if the vulnerable part is still in the corner hiding or lifting up their head and looking around. And we're going to move on to the end part of this practice, which is nurture and nourish yourself with self-compassion and love and kindness. And we'll spend the final five minutes just breathing compassion in and sending nourishing compassion and kindness to whatever inside is suffering, whatever parts, whatever experience this is. And let's start with, if it's difficult to open up your heart, Let's use our imaginations to find a being who opens your heart in a very simple way. It may be a pet, it may be a partner, it may be a mentor. And let's visualize that being. And just breathe and send good thoughts of kindness and compassion to that being. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you live with ease. And let's do that for another minute. May you be safe, visualizing that being. Visualizing your heart expanding with love and compassion for that being who you so simply feel joy and connection to. May you be peaceful. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And if it's difficult to find a living person who opens your heart, then it's okay to choose someone who is an archetype or a figure that opens your heart. May you be safe. May you be peaceful. May you experience joy. May you experience ease. And let's add a visualization of you with that being who you connect to, who opens your heart. May we be safe. May we be peaceful. May we be happy and joyful. May we experience ease and hope and kindness. May we be safe. May be we held, may we be held. May we be held by 
our higher power, by the creator, or by the almighty. or by the collective of kind people who exist in the world, who understand suffering and practice compassion. May we live with ease. And let's extend that compassion to a community or extended family or the other humans who understand and practice compassion and kindness. Mm. And connection. And may we experience that connection May you be healthy. May you be peaceful. May you be held by the collective of kind people who are authentically kind and recognize kindness and complexity. Just noticing where you are right now, feeling that kindness and compassion and that connection. Breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and reorient back into the here and the now and feel your feet or your body grounded and breathing in and breathing out. Thank you for joining me.